हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज शची वेलकम टू माई चैनल ट्रैक केमिस्ट्री टूडेज सेशन केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट रिविजन सीरीज पार्ट वन इज फॉर क्लास एट दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ एंटायर रिविजन सीरीज डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर हैज बीन डन इन पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू द लिंक ऑफ दिस वीडियोज हैव बीन गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फॉर पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू प्लीज चेक द आई बटन फ्रेंड्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वॉन्ट टू रिमाइंड यू टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर getting information about further important uploads and don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this video and share this video with your friends also so now come with me and let's crack chemistry so in today's session i'll discuss one of the chemical effect of electric current you must be knowing that when electric current is passed through solutions of electrolyte say aqueous solution of copper sulfate a chemical change takes place copper is deposited at negative electrode which is called as cathode and oxygen gas is liberated at positive electrode which is called as anode so during this process what is happening the electric current causes a chemical change in the electrolyte a few chemical reactions take place and the electrolyte undergoes a chemical change so this activity clearly shows that an electric current can bring about a chemical change so here we have seen the electrolysis of aqua solution of copper sulfate where we have seen copper was deposited at the negative electrode which was cathode and oxygen was liberated at positive electrode which was anode this i want to explain in detail by taking electrolysis of acidulated water for the electrolysis of acidulated water we have taken water in a beaker in this water we have added a few drops of acid because distilled water is a poor conductor of electricity the presence of impurities make it a good conductor impurities can be added in the forms of acids bases salts and minerals so when electric current is passed through acidulated water and when the switch is turned on we can see the bulb starts glowing glowing of bulb indicate that current flows through the solution apart from glowing of bulb we can see bubbles of gases about the bare ends of copper wire these bubbles are of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas hydrogen gas is liberated at negative electrode which is called as cathode and oxygen gas is liberated at positive electrode which is called as anode the detailed description of the activity which i have discussed just now is given in these slides now now i want to discuss few important terms here pure water kerosene petrol etc are poor conductors while the tap water sea water lemon juice are good conductors of electricity so as i discussed earlier the presence of impurities in water make it a good conductor of electricity and liquids that conduct electricity are called as electrolytes the liquids which do not conduct electricity are called as non electrolytes and the phenomena of causing a chemical change by passing electric current through a conducting solution is known as chemical effects of current and this process of electrolysis finds various uses electrolysis is used in electroplating refining of metals and extraction of metals from their ores which i'll discuss in uh, next video so now this is the quiz time first question is lemon juice is a good or bad conductor of electricity so i discuss with you lemon juice consists of acids it consists of citric acid solutions of acids bases salts and the solutions which have minerals are a good conductor so lemon juice is a good conductor of electricity then pure water it conducts or doesn't conduct electricity you know it that pure water doesn't conduct electricity then addition or deletion of salts make a good conductor of electricity so addition of salt to distilled water make it a good conductor of electricity distilled water is a very poor conductor of electricity but once you add salt in it it becomes a good conductor then wood and plastics are examples of bad conductors of electricity 
then you have to give one word for the following. The solution that conducts electricity is called as electrolyte. Decomposition of electrolyte is called as electrolysis. Decomposition of electrolyte by passing electric current through it is called as electrolysis. Positive terminal of the battery is anode. Negative terminal of the battery is cathode. Then these are the fill in the blanks. On passing electric current through a conducting solution, a few chemical reactions take place. Second question is, during electrolysis, an electrolyte undergoes a chemical change. Next question is, liquids that conduct electricity are solutions of acids, bases and salts. Next question is the process by which an electrolyte is decomposed with the help of electricity. So, electrolysis is the process by which an electrolyte is decomposed with the help of electricity. Next question, you have to write true or false against the following statements. During electrolysis, the positive terminal of the battery becomes anode. Yes, it is the correct statement. Positive terminal of the battery is called as anode and the negative terminal of the battery is called as cathode. So, second question is, cathode is a negative electrode? Yes, it is correct. True. Acidulated water conducts electricity? Yes, this is also true. Next question, addition of sodium hydroxide in distilled water makes it non-electrolyte. This is a false statement because addition of sodium hydroxide, which is a base, makes distilled water an electrolyte. Then lemon juice cannot conduct electricity. No, this is also a false statement because lemon juice consists of acid and acidic solutions are electrolyte. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.